Okay, welcome to another part of the Grumman 2 teardrop series. Uh, what we're going to do now is actually cut some holes in this front bulkhead above the where the pills would be. Um, and so I need to remove the right hand side and I'll remove the outer shell, the fenders, and the frame just so to get that out of my way. Um, as you can see, I've drawn holes or I've created holes in here and back in here. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing up front here. So I'll double click and open up my group. And then what I need to do is create some guidelines. I created one just right there on the bottom and then I'm dragging up. And I'm going to come up eight inches. That would be four inches for a mattress and then four inches for the pillow space so they don't fall back in here. Then I'll put a grid line right here on the end. And then another grid line I'm going to come in one and a half inches with that grid line. And then from this edge up here, I'm going to drag down one and a half inches also. Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, a really neat thing using the array feature similar to how we copied the fenders earlier. And uh, so what you do is you grab the move tool and I highlighted or I selected both of these grid lines. And what I'm going to do is hit the control key. Okay, and then what I do is drag down to the end here where I want it to be. Now don't move your mouse, and what you do is you hit divide by three. You'd use the divide sign and then three and then enter. So you can see these are spaced equally, these grid lines. And so now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and draw a box right here on this grid line. And then I'm going to put three inch radius circles on here, so I need to put some more grid lines in here. So I'll go three inches all the way around. Again, you want to make sure that you stay uh, within your right, the same plane. Now I'll do a circle, and again, I use. 100 uh, segment circles. It's, I just like it. It makes cleaner circles. And then I connect uh, these to the outside edge. And then I can go ahead and delete the parts of the circle I don't need and and these outer squares. Now some of my grid lines will delete here, but we can still copy them, no problem. Okay, and so what I'll do is I'll swing this around to square it up, straighten it up some so it's easier to copy the parts I need. So there I copied that circle. Now again using that same copy move, you do the move, hit control, and drag it over, place it on the line. And I'm only doing one at a time. Uh, you could do multiple ones. There's different ways to do that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is uh, just delete these so I'm or open up these holes so I'm using the push pull. I'll click on it and then I'll actually come back here to this back edge and you'll see it goes away. Um, so sometimes it's hard to get it right on the right edge. If you uh, have a hard time but you get it back to the end, just delete the parts you don't need. Now what I need to do is you can see there's some lines right here and here uh, and we're going to try to smooth that up, get rid of those lines. So I just highlight those sections and it doesn't really matter, we got some more there. Go up to edit and then down here to where it says the in entities and then smooth. You can also right click on it as I've shown earlier in early videos and just right click on it and do that. But as you can see now, those lines have gone away. Let me get rid of the grid lines. Those lines have gone away that were in there, and so they're nice and smooth now. So anyway, that's pretty much it. And you can see I created these other holes back here the same way. In the next video, I'll make a mattress and do a few more things. We'll go ahead and put everything back on it here. And well, the profile, we don't need the profile up there. And we'll close out of it, and that's where we'll leave it. And I'll come back and do some more in the next video.